Hello everybody, it's me the Prince of FNAF, welcome back to the channel, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the like button if you like what you see here, and be sure to send a comment my way, and with that out of the way, today I want to take a look at a YouTuber who makes skits with puppets, his channel is called Elbro's Film, and with that out of the way, let's take a look and dive in to Elbro's Film. And no to anybody wondering, L Bros Film is not the first YouTuber to dive into the skits with puppets genre on YouTube. It has been done countless times with action figures, with puppets, you name it. It's been done countless times. There is a channel that's quite popular right now called Super Luigi Logan, and he does awesome skits with these puppets and stuffed animals. Like, he's awesome. And I think that Elbro's film, if done the right way, could become the next Super Mario Logan. His videos are just seem to be really funny and wholesome right now, but I think that with some extra hard work, this guy could become the next Super Mario Logan. And yeah, this guy's awesome. My favorite video is the Christmas video. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why do you like the Christmas video? But the Christmas video was funny because I like how the opening scene is him rampaging through a model of like a Christmas town, how you put those Christmas towns up on Christmas, like those fancy Christmas towns. I like how he goes to the rampage through one of those Christmas towns and like breaks everything. And then uh, Walter interrupts him. He's like, what the hell are you doing? And he goes, you ruined it. You, you ruined it. Look at that. You ruined it. And um, yeah, the characters, I really like the characters. Like you got Zilla, who is a... Godzilla Kaiju, those of you who remember the 1998 film, not a lot of people like it. And this this show makes a lot of fun of it. This, this show knows that the 1998 Godzilla is hated by Godzilla fans. And they make it a point to make fun of it as much as possible. They even dedicate an episode to Zilla like getting all sad because the new American Godzilla from the MonsterVerse is taking over. And he's like, I wanted to be him. Like, it's not fair. And and I forget, I think his name is Mike. Mike, the creator of the channel, is like, that's selfish. And he goes, no, you don't know. How dare you? You don't know. You don't know what it's like. I, I It's not about the money. Like, I just wanted to be liked by Godzilla fans. I wanted to be him. Be a badass like him. But nobody likes me. He's like, oh my god. Not only are you making fun of the point that 1998 Godzilla is hated, but now you're making us feel sympathy. So yeah, his character is really built up. I don't know why, but the creator of the channel likes to make Godzilla speak in a French or Spanish accent. Correct me on that if you've seen that. And Walter's just got a regular, regular accent. And then the crocodile has an Aussie accent. It's hilarious. He's Australian. I mean, it suits him well. Um, but it's really funny, and they all sorts of adventures together. The show, the show is absolutely great. They do some reactions. They do a couple gaming, but I like their skits. I, I prefer their skits actually because their skits are just amazing. They're not like the the most amazing skits, like the level of like Super Mario uh, Logan skits. But they're still they're they're still great. I still like them. And like I said, with a lot of work, this guy could turn into the next Super Mario Logan. And if you're watching this, dude. You're doing a great job. I absolutely, absolutely love your show. I mean, I, that means I'm probably a little bit childish, but hey, there's all a little bit of a man child inside of us somewhere. And those of you girls, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of a little bit of a girly girl inside of you. So yeah. So that's all I really want to say. This show is just amazing. It doesn't get as much, as much noticing as it as it deserves. Like it, it's not seen as much as it deserves to be seen. And like I said, a lot of work. This guy could turn into Super Mario Logan. The next Super Mario logo. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. So definitely check him out. Subscribe to him. He's, he's great. And this is actually really surprising because I usually don't have anything nice to say about YouTubers. Uh, the last two videos I made was uh, about Mr. Top 5 and how he's such an asshole. I mean, that's true. I mean, just look at his videos. He's like, he's been an asshole to a person he calls his friend for his whole life. And then the people who make fun of the paranormal, such as I'm Jay Station and dark luxury like but i don't hate youtubers i'm not saying i'm not being like hateful to people i'm just saying that certain people shouldn't do certain things like mr top five shouldn't constantly pick on his 
best friend for views on YouTube. That's not right. Using your best friend to get views through pissing him off, that's not right. And YouTubers who make fun of the paranormal, like like uh, like Dark Luxury and I'm Jay Station, that's not right either. But this guy, I do like him. I, I, not everything I have to say about YouTubers is negative. Know that I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty reasonable, but like YouTubers who make fun of the paranormal and people who are assholes, like they deserve to get called out. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed my look at Elbro's film and that thumbnail at the beginning of the video. I created that. You're welcome. Enjoy. And with that out of the way, hope you guys did enjoy this and do take care.